My dad is a bodybuilder. My uh, brother is a bodybuilder. My sister is a personal trainer and a bodybuilder. And then this is me. One woman is trying to help others change how they feel about themselves and doing it with her photography. She wants to help change the way women see this singular ideal body as a measure of their worth. Many stripped down in their most vulnerable form. Lindsay Ray, the body image activist and owner of the Self Love Experience. I love that. I have convinced nearly 600 women to take their clothes off in front of me. Well, not so much me as my camera, and not so much as convinced as much as given permission to. I am a luxury boudoir and empowerment photographer, and if I have learned anything, it is how deeply damaging the beauty propaganda machine is. And it all hinges on one word, if. Out of over 600 individuals who have come to Troy, New York to my photography studio, most aren't coming to strip down physically, but to strip down emotionally, to confront their insecurities and that negative tape that's playing in their heads. For some reason, we treat ourselves the one person on earth we spend 365 days with 24 seven from birth till death as if we are the enemy. We have been forced to believe that the only way that we can be good enough is if we look like a photoshopped version of a real person. I had to confront myself in such a challenging way. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. How to confront yourself to bring out the most confident and authoritative version of you. If I could lose some weight, then I would book a session. Or if my breasts weren't so saggy from breastfeeding three kids, then I would book a session. Maybe if I can fit into this teeny, narrow-minded mold of what society considers beautiful, then I could be happy. When you look in the mirror and you're looking at your tummy and they overhear you saying that you don't love it or that you don't like it, that begins to become their internal language. I'm not represented on the screen. I'm a plus-size woman. I'm a size 20. Before Melissa McCarthy, who did we have that was representing our body type? There was one role for me, and it was a role about being fat. And I didn't care because it was all at the time I believed that I could be. So how do we stop being the villain in our own story? When I became a photographer in 2013, I silenced my ifs and I set out on a mission to help others silence theirs as well. Yeah.